When you see the pictures on the wall here of the gatherings that they had right here at the station, hundreds of people all dressed up in their best outfits coming to the station to hear a, a presentation about conservation. That's pretty impressive. Well, our first car was a 27 Nash. And uh, on Sundays after church, we'd bug Dad to go for a drive, and we'd often go for a picnic, and very often end up at the reforestry station. And of course, if you, if you get a bundle of trees free, why, uh, you're going to find a place to put them. Through the reforestry farm, there were thousands of acres actually planted by farmer volunteers. It had a tremendous effect. By the 1930s, the St. Williams Forestry Station had reforested 4,000 acres of degraded land. And by the time it was privatized in 1998, it had shipped over 300 million seedlings. 